Ta time is 10 o'clock on this Friday night, April 7, 2017, and it is time now for Sports Random, and it is Friday night, April 7, 2017. Pete the Wiggins here. Let's start you off out of Comerica Park in Detroit, Michigan, where the Boston Red Sox, after taking two games out of the Pittsburgh Pirates at Fenway Park, try out for their first road trip of the young 2017 season as they take on the Detroit Tigers in the first of all four game series at Fenway Park. And the Tigers get on the board first here. As Victor Martinez out of the second place fire down. Left fielder Andrew Vinton in that scores in. Kinsley was one up in favor of the Red of the Tigers. And then Victor Martinez shot singles on a short ground ball. The left fielder Andrew Vinton in and he that scores. Nicholas Casanos, two nothing. Tigers. And then James McCann opens on a line rider. Left semi that scores Tyler Collins. Four nothing. Tigers through seven. But then the Red Sox work some comeback measure in the eighth. That's when Chris Young doubles on a line driver there. Left fielder Justin Upton that scores. Andrew Vinton in and he was. 4-1 in favor of the Tigers. And then Jack Lee Bradley Jr. singles down on ground ball to right fielder Tyler Collins that scores Mitch Rowland. And Chris Young in the third was 4-2 Tigers. And then Pablo said about home is down on five ball to left fielder that scores Chris Young and Jack Bradley to make it 5-4 in favor of the Red Sox. But the bullpen threw it away here as they committed four walks in the bottom of the eighth. Mickey Mitchell doubles on the line driver. Left fielder, Matt and Jovan, and then it scores Andrew Romine to make it 5 5. And then Jacoby Jones walks. And then Justin Upton scores as the Boston Red Sox lose a tough one to the Detroit Tigers. 6 to 5 to fall to 2 and win the season as Francis Webby has got the win. And hey, Fenway has got the loss. Well, it's going to be one of these days. You have a lead, you, you're you you're down in the scoreboard, you fight back, and the bullpen throws up. And it is going to be a young bullpen, it's a young season, so you're going to have your challenges, you're going to have your ups, you're going to have downs, and the Reds are going to be just like, that's going to have the ups and downs, and have their challenges. And on in the next game, where the Sox and Tigers are going to square off at one ten pm out in Detroit, here, Edward Rodriguez, man, the Red Sox, while Zimmerman, man, for the Detroit Tigers. Okay, bottom of the seven, Baltimore Eagles leading the New York Yankees 6 to 5. Top of the ninth, Mike Romanza leading the New York Mets 7 to 2. Bottom of the six, it's uh, uh, Ronald Blue Jays with a tech number 8 raise 7 to 6. Top of the six, Texas Rangers over the Oakland Athletics 8 to 4. Bottom of the six, it's uh, Minnesota Twins leading the Chicago White Sox 2 to 1. Top of the seven, it's the Kansas City Royals out leading the Houston Astros 2 to nothing. Bottom of the six, it's the uh, Chicago Cubs and the Milwaukee Brewers 10 to 1. Middle eight. Since I read leading the St. Louis Cardinals, one to nothing. Top of the second, Cleveland Indians over the Arizona Diamondbacks, one to nothing. LA Angels and the Seattle Mariners going to get underway right now. Out in Anaheim. Pittsburgh Pirates over the Atlanta Braves, five to four. Washington Nationals over the Philadelphia Phillies, six, seven to six. And the Colorado Rockies over the LA Dodgers, two to one. And the San Diego Padres over the San Francisco Giants, seven to six. Looking at NHL scores, one game. Tampa Bay Lightning leading the Montreal Canadiens, 4-2. As we look at the scoreboard at the standing board here, and the Boston Bruins are currently two games, two points ahead of the Toronto Maple Leafs for the final walk Atlantic Division spot in the playoffs here. New York Rangers get the wild card at 100 points, and Toronto Maple Leafs at 93 points. And the Islanders and the Tampa Bay Lightning, three points behind the Maple Leafs, their final wild card spot in the NHL. And the NBA scores Atlanta Hawks over the Cleveland Cavaliers, 140 to 100. Toronto Raptors over the Miami Heat, 96 94. Memphis Grizzlies over the New York Knicks, 93 80, with 4 2 left in the fourth quarter. Houston Rockets over the Detroit Pistons, 97-93, with 5.30 left in the fourth quarter. Dallas Mavericks in the San Antonio Spurs, 67 all, and 5.19 in the third. Denver Nuggets over the North Pelicans, 51-50, and uh, Minnesota Denver Wolves are leading the Utah Jets, 56-55, about 25 left in the second half. As we take a look at the standings, and the Boston Celtics are currently in second place in the East Conference, one game behind Cleveland for first place in the East 
during the conference here. And Atlanta's got fifth place. And in Chicago and in Indiana, tied for seventh place. And Miami, a half game behind Chicago and Indiana for the final playoff spot in the Eastern Conference. Shot three games behind. And Detroit, three and a half games behind. Ball in the Western Conference. Portland and two games, a half game, one and a half games ahead of the Denver Nuggets in that final wall, Eastern West Conference playoff spot in the NBA. Okay, let us take a look at how the Naughton area teams fare. The Naughton Lancers baseball team defeated midfield 7-3 on the road. The softball team thrashed the Warriors 13-1 for the Naughton Lancers. And the Naughton Lancers boys tennis team fall to the midfield. The Warriors have been not middle school fight enough to while the girls fell the midfield on the road. 4-1 for the Naughton Lancers. And the Wheaton Lions softball team swept Coast Guard on the road 12-4 and 15-5 while the baseball team got clobbered by the Bats and Beavers 13-5. Okay, take a look at uh, some sports news here. Phil Mixon looks on Temple with winner second round of Masters. The only thing certain and during Saturday I got today is going to be fireworks as on Friday when the Masters was shaped up a war of attrition between Charlie and Hoppin and Will McCurk. Lonzo Ball's friend in the power is going to be on pressing as a teacher as a former UCLA point guard. Said Friday that the epic Harrison Her Gaines will, will work on a newly formed Ball Sports Group headed by Ball's father, Lamar. Kansas Jayhawks guard Frank Mason III had been a sack for being case when he captured the 2016-17 Wooden Award was recognized as the nation's most Accident player during a Friday's awards show in Los Angeles. When it comes to level of defense, Ben Ruffles amused by the possible chairman after the end of the 16th season came around the Saints Potters. Then the Lewis source eventually returned to the match for the final goal, Valley 1800, as Ben Russell played in 2017. The South School 49 released quarterback to main buck up the day after his restaurant booked the suspicion of felony domestic violence. Charlie Hopkins is massively in a 2017 Masters, evaporated over the course of six holes, and as the leaderboard opened up, the playing condition improved. So, with the latest report that he's been in, Richard Sherman's situation too, the Seahawks are actually stopping the star quarterback not because they want to send him a message, but because they want to see what they can get for him because they want it. The Cleveland Cavaliers are already locked the player for it, but that head coach, Tom Lewis, doesn't keep his stars on the court until they clinch the number one seed. Kevin Durant shares how he had been further to get back into the court and said that the fact that it's still the regular season does make it any easier. Former NFL quarterback Chris Sims criticized CBS in the podcast of the network of tomorrow's farmer. Phil Sims, the favorite, Tony Romo. And he apologized for misunderstanding. Coming into the oh, Colorado Rockets just came out winning thanks to Greg Hall, the much improved bullpen. Phil W. Four corners of the manager of League Baseball, 162 games, season as part of in any club to begin benefiting about anything. Adam Silver did tell anybody fun with a cigar so that could play a rolling team for just the top players, Les Dalton. The non St. Little Hearts, a 32 year old, Adrian Peterson, running back for a visit next week on Keith Evans and then NFL record dates. Mark the third known free safe visit by Peterson and already seen the Seattle Patriots. And that is going to be it for Sports Band of the Nets late for Wednesday night, April 7th, 2015. I'm Peterson. Have a good night. And I'll see you tomorrow night. I hope you all have a good night.